my lovelies, how are you doing? Welcome to a very slightly different McCall Media TV live today. So as you can see on screen, everything is kind of looking the same as it always is, but I'm going live in a different way entirely. And I've managed to hook up my mobile phone to be a second webcam, which the how-to video will be coming tomorrow, but the benefit of doing that will be shown today. So, without further ado, I'm going to show you my little office studio, how it's all come to be, how I've set it up, the journey I've been on, some of the tech behind the scenes, and basically show you guys what you can do with a little bit of imagination, perseverance, and uh, getting confident with some of the tech opportunities that are out there. Now, the first thing you may have noticed, if you're listening very quietly, I've got some music playing, some ambient background music. So that's one of the other little things that I've learnt to do over the weekend whilst I have been playing. So all of that to come in due course. So the first thing I want to talk to you about today is my webcam point of view. So as you can see, this is how most of my videos generally are. And I'm going to show you behind the scenes in just a second. But if I can do this correctly and nothing goes wrong, we have a second point of view, which is going to be for my mobile phone. And I'm going to turn that on now and bring it up on screen with a little bit of luck. Let me just leave that text there. And there we go. Look at this. So you can see me down in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. So this is my webcam. As you can see, it's all live and everything's streaming at dual uh, timing as it were and if I pick up my mobile phone and bring it up to show you there we go so I am literally this a bit close to my head but my mobile phone now uh, one of the things that I have learned that whilst I'm doing this selfie style video I have to use my left hand to hold the camera because as you can see that makes the lens there free so oh course it's over this side so it makes the blends there free but what I am finding is that when I turn this around to show you guys everything then goes upside down and I have to flip my camera and move it into the other hand so you just have to bear with me a little bit there we go coming back so let's just start off by explaining a little bit about my office so as you can see, I've gone live with OBS Studio, which is a how-to video coming tomorrow. Um, and as you can see, let me take a step back so I can show you a bit more of a wider view. This is my little home office. Okay, so what we have here on the left-hand side is my webcam feed. And as you can see, it's actually sideways for one of the things I've had to do, which is also why I'm not using uh, StreamYard at the moment, is that I've had to rotate my viewing angle so that it presents to you the right way round. So, left hand screen at the moment is my webcam feed, from my mobile phone I should say, sorry, um, my mobile phone feed. Center is managing my webcam, sorry, my OBS studio, God I will get my words out in a minute. And then on the right hand side here, we have my uh, uh, YouTube st live streaming broadcast information. Okay, so let's talk about a little bit of the text. Let me just move my chair to one side so I can walk in. As you can see, I've got a tiny little ring light up here and my other ring light that I've done a video on recently, that's actually still one of the best performing videos I've done on my channel, is just here. Now the reason I've stopped using this is because now that you can see my setup and my webcam being here, that big uh, round ring light, although it was perfect for the job it was doing, it was blocking half of my screen and I was really struggling to see what it was that was going on especially because if you look at the size of the tripod stand that it's on was covering literally the like the left hand side of my center monitor and it was becoming quite difficult so what i've recently done is purchased this little device and all of my um all of my uh content all the tech that i'm showing you i'm going to provide links in the video underneath this so that you can go find it for yourself but i've literally bought this in the last month as you can see it's a big old clamp now um, I do find the clamp quite hard to move, it does its job, it's meant to go on the desk and I can't literally squeeze it with one hand, I need to use both my hands which obviously I can't do while I'm holding the camera. But this basically allows me to have a webcam point of view. Now that I've got my mobile phone set up in due course I'll be able to clear this desk space down here and then I'll be able to do sort of like an unboxing or presenting. So if you turn around I've got my planner that I will be talking to you guys about soon. Um, but when I present that and, and sort of walk you through it, I'll be able to put it on a nice desktop down here and you'll be able to see everything that is going on. 
so that's why I've got my little webcam thing there and obviously with this light being up here I can twist it and turn it and highlight the desk if I need to. Uh, so I'm also going live through, this was my little purchase about three months ago, about April time Easter. Um, it's a freestanding desk mic again. All the tech that I'm using, I am a single parent, so it's generally the lower end market, but it works and it works well. So this gadget was in the 20 pound mark. I'll find it on Amazon again. I'll go back through my orders. This was about 25 pounds as a little freestanding mic and it actually came as a part of a set with my little speakers that you can see down there. Um, so I decided to use those um, just instead of using my base unit speakers because it was easier to access. Um, as you can see, I've got my headphones still wired in somewhere. There's the little control for my headphones. And this one here is the control for that big old ring light just there. So again, you'll be able to find the link to all of this stuff on the internet. Now, if I spin it out, okay, you can see I have this beautiful big window, which is brilliant, but it does obviously give me a lighting imbalance. And I'm still doing lots of uh, t sort of t tweaks and changes on my actual um, studio. So uh, let's talk about the window and the light first of all. So because of the light and, and it's sort of offsetting things, I've got this big old, which you can see is turned on at the moment, this continuous light so that I've got a kind of a balance between when I'm presenting down here um, and it kind of evens out my face and, and things a little bit more. Um, the, the pink curtains are going to go, this one pretty much lives up there in a folded state which you can't see if again we come back just here to my screen you can't really see it so that, that's a little thing that you don't know that's going on behind the scenes. I forgot to say down here I've got a little control which controls my little backlights so for example I can make it pink or purple or red, yellow but I keep it on the blue because it's the closest to my little brown. Um, oh no, just let me talk to you about these things. This was my granddad's little desk. It was something that was he had on his desk as a kid with us kids growing up. And um, oh, me and my sister would always play with the dials and it would really annoy him because we would change the dates and the days and all that kind of thing. So obviously when he's passed, I managed to keep hold of it. And I've just kind of, it's a little sentimental thing, put it on my desk. And these are my little date blocks that you can see are completely out of date, but they're from when I lived in, in New Zealand. And as a typical mum, there's my beautiful girls. And there they are again, and there they are again, because that's what everything's about when you're a mum. Um, also, I just thought I would say, down back here, I've got another feeding light through, or a cable for my um, my phone charger, so that's it was a cheapie, and I've got this little gadget. Again, I bought this really recently, before I got this up here, um, just so that I could stand my phone, so I could see what was going on at the same time. So there's another couple of little things for you to bear in mind. Now the changes that I am going to be doing, I've ordered a nice vertical grey uh, blackout kind of Venetian blind which still hasn't arrived yet because they have to make it to fit the window size so hopefully sometime in the next week that will arrive which means I can get rid of the pink curtains. I've actually got some turquoise curtains as well to put up which then fits my little office branding a little bit more. Um, these little pad things, these are grey and they are really strong as you can see where I've moved them. I've actually pulled the paint off the wall so I've got a little bit of fixing and DIY to do up here um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a shelf literally across the top line of those yellow um, pegboards and if I step back I can show you a bit clearly the reason being is because now that I've been thinking about the aesthetics of my background environment I've moved my printer which was living just where this car pot was out of view of the webcam so that you guys don't see it at the moment it's living here but as you can see it's real close to my desk and every time I turn around I'm literally smacking my elbow on it so it's driving me mad so I want it up and out of the way so I've moved my little pads down a little bit so that I can fix the wall I'm going to put a big old black shelf up there and run the cable up and around so it's up and out of the way for the amount I use it now um, I'm just going to oh, bring my chair out the way okay so what we've got going on over here um, I've got again a whiteboard. Now I've had this whiteboard for a few years, but it's um, it is a cheapie again. As you can see, it is bowed a little bit. That might also be because it lived in my garage for about three years. Um, but again, you don't need huge amounts of expensive stuff. I think this was about 20, 30 quid a few years back. Um, a little plant pot, fake plant, uh, fake plant from IKEA, just to give it some aesthetics. There's my planner that I'm going to be talking to you guys about soon. 
Um, this was about 11 quid as a little white light. I haven't put any batteries in it, but it's a hashtag, so it's kind of fixed with the whole social media and uh, things that I'm doing kind of advancing online. Um, and as you can see from my lovely painting skills, I've just literally painted it in colour to keep it in my brand. Again, another little IKEA glass vase just for the synthetics. And um, pretty much the only globe that I could find that was closest to my colour scheme. Um, and, and this kind of fits, fits quite well, I think, because as a girl who likes to travel, um, it works. My kids can use it for school. And obviously, as a YouTuber, I can pretty much appeal to anybody on the globe as long as they've got an internet connection. So there's my little um, globe there as well. As you can see down the side here, I've got my little strip light. Again, this was like, oh, I want to say like maybe 10 quid. It really wasn't expensive. And it, this was a three meter one, so you can see it running all along the back. Here's where I keep my uh, green screen. It's one of those pop-up screens that, um, it's one of my pop-up screens. So it is like one of those tents where you sort of flip it and it pops up and it drives me absolutely insane which is why I don't use it that much but come back to this so it's why I don't use it that much because it um it kind of bows as well and it kind of really I think needs to be glued to the back of my chair because when I'm doing presentations um if there's always one corner that I can't quite cover so if I move it to shift it to fix this corner this corner shows and it's just it's a bit of a headache so when I um finally get the photography show back up and open, not me personally, but when the photography show in the UK is back up and running, I want to get one of those green screens that look more like a pull-up banner that's really wide. Um, as you can see, I've got just enough space down here where my feet are, hello toes, um, to be able to run that banner on the floor and that will mean that I will be able to use the pull-up banner and then do some visual, virtual kind of explanations of what's going on there and use some tech lessons there. Um, so that's it, now pretty much moving on now, you might have seen this before, now this, is, this needs to have a door, um, this is, as you can see I've kicked my girls out of the small bedroom, they're in the big bedroom now, but uh, this is how my kids decide to tidy their bedroom, so ignore the clothes, uh, my little three pound uh, can't ever go wrong stand, this was for some selfie videos while we made TikToks the other day, because I didn't have the gadget that went on the top of my tripod, so that's something I'm going to buy and purchase um, over here behind my continuous light I've got my shelves, there's some spray for cleaning monitors, um, my admin, some books, just a few of my books because I've moved most of them off onto a bookcase that goes around the corner there so you can't quite see but there's a, another bookcase out on the landing um, and this, this is what you don't really get to see because now I've cleared up the space behind me <laughs> um, when I'm working on stuff I've got nowhere to put it because I don't want it going on this nice lovely aesthetic side because that goes behind me in the screen so at the moment it's living on the floor and that's kind of my job for later on this afternoon to actually tidy up now I am going to show you under my desk because this is a proper behind the scenes tour okay so um yeah that's my handbag what we've got going on down here as you can see I've got my desk and my actual main computer which was custom built on the top here is basically my um, Wacom tablet. Let's have a look. Can I get the little thing to come out? There you go, my little Wacom tablet. I can't really do this with one hand, but you get the idea. Now, the only problem is with this, this cable is like two, uh, two foot long. It's tiny. And so when it's plugged into my PC down there, I don't have enough space to be able to move. So I need a good upgrade to get the, the gadget that makes it a Wi-Fi um, or cordless uh, whack on tablet or I need to buy a longer cable which is why it's kind of living down there um, but these are my boxes that I've just ordered because I was testing for when I'm ready to deliver my planners and sell my planners so you can see they fit in quite nicely and then what I wanted to do just so that I don't want the planners hitting the room and things that it's too raid and the packaging to get soggy is I've got some cellophane here that I'm just storing and another big roll that I've found on the internet with some tape so that I can wrap my planners and put them in the boxes so that's all good so that's pretty much where I'm at. So I'm just gonna come back to my desk. And as you can see at the moment, I'm now showing you my middle monitor, which has got my OBS studio. And I'm gonna talk you through this in a couple of other tutorials. But if I just change my screen, let me get my mouse working. And I just take this off and fade over. There we go, I'm back in the house so I can 
turn off my phone. There we go. Just close that down over that on the side. Right. And there is my little office tour. So um, I've talked about some of the tech. Um, I'm going to put it below, but things that I haven't mentioned, um, like my webcam. My webcam is a Logitech, and I've forgotten the serial number. I'll look it up in a minute for you. But it's one of the lower or like smaller brother versions, as it was, what the um, main YouTubers are recommending. So I will find a couple of links there for you. But this cost me um, about 60, 80 pounds, I think it was, around about three years ago. It does the job nicely. And it auto zooms and focuses so again it's not a very very expensive one um, and for the moment it's working quite nicely for me so as you can see I've got most of my kit like the, the big ring light was about 20 quid the, the small ring light with the um, gooseneck that's the word I'm looking for those gooseneck bendy wires for the phone to sit on that was about 20 quid my little uh, mic was around about 20 quid my speakers were about 20 quid everything was about 20 quid um i've got a little it was about a tenner the little stand for my phone um and that's it really i can't really think of anything else my tripod that my big ring light was on is one that my dad purchased like years and years ago and gave it to me and it's just kind of been knocking around so again i don't think it's going to be expensive i bought the big main um tripod stands that like my soft box and things are on um, at a photography show a few years ago I can't remember how much they were but they were on sale during the photography show and there we go that is basically my studio the only thing that I haven't really said is expense the expense of my main PC that was probably the biggest cost because it was custom built and I'm always upgrading because that way the parts are a little bit more easier to adapt so for example when I decided that I wanted three monitors I upgraded to a gaming graphics card which allowed the try monitor screen setup and that meant then that I was able to buy the other monitors the monitors I think were about the 120 pound mark each um, and then obviously they were taking up quite a lot of space on my desk because of the footprint of the base units which meant I then bought a tri monitor arm which is what's going on at the moment to give me my desktop space back and I don't think there's anything else there that I haven't mentioned now that you guys don't know about so um, yeah I hope you found this kind of interesting um, I forgot to do earlier on because it's all in a different environment my little socials so don't forget um, I do generally go live across all my social media accounts at the moment because I've done this in OBS I'm live in just uh, YouTube on this particular video uh, but here's my socials for you stuff okay and uh, and that's about it so please do subscribe stay notified stay tuned to my channel over the next couple of like week I should say really I am going to give you a, a behind the scenes tour of OBS and how I've set it up I'm going to give you a, a behind the scenes tour on how I actually set up my webcam on my mobile or a second webcam to basically work with my uh, lens and camera on my mobile phone I did that using zoom and there's two or three different ways to do that as well um, I'm going to be talking to you about how I've managed to get the ambient background music playing and everything yeah so I'm, I'm on a bit of a tech journey this last couple of weeks and I hope you enjoyed it so uh, thank you very much do put any of your comments and I will do my best to uh, answer them best I can <laughs>